So this morning, we're gonna start on the back. So you can grab your head prop, your towel or your pillow, whatever you've got with you, and just make sure that your head and your shoulders feel nice and comfortably supported once you get onto your back. And then let's keep the knees bent and the feet flat on the floor. Okay, so we're just gonna lay down here, get yourself comfortable, and just take a couple nice deep breaths and feel where you feel the weight on the back side of the body down on the mat. Because we're not always perfectly even, and that's okay. So it's nice just to kind of lay here and feel what you feel without correcting anything. Just take a couple nice deep breaths. Notice the weight of your head, the weight of your shoulders and your rib cage. You may feel like you've got a little space in between your low back and the mat. Just that natural curve of your low back. And then feel the weight of your hips and your feet. Take one more nice full breath here. Good. All right, so now we're gonna use the breath to help us move the shape of our low back and our pelvis, okay? So I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. You can do that if that's helpful. Otherwise, you can leave your arms long by your side. So I'm just gonna take a big breath into my belly. And on the exhale, I'm gonna use those abdominal muscles to gently press the low back toward the mat, which is gonna rock the pubic bone toward me. And on the inhale, I'm gonna let that release back to a neutral position. Exhale to use the abdominal muscles to gently imprint the low back to the mat, and then inhale to release. Exhale to imprint, and inhale to release. So we're just rocking the pelvis forward and back, pressing the low back into the mat, and then releasing back to that neutral position with a little bit of space in between your low back and the mat. Go for two more. Inhale to release. And exhale to imprint. One more time. Inhale to release back to that neutral position. And exhale to imprint. And then you're going to come back to your neutral position, right? So that's where you've got that natural little curve in between your low back and the mat. And that's going to be a different shape for everybody, okay? So it just depends on your body. So just allowing for whatever little natural space feels comfortable. We're going to try to stabilize that. Keep the hip bones nice and still now as you open right leg out to the side. Inhale to bring it back to the center and exhale to switch. So you're just going to go back and forth gently, opening one leg and then bringing it back to the center. Trying now to keep your pelvis and your low back in that neutral position. So no movement from the pelvis and the low back. This is gonna help warm up those deep abdominal stabilizers. Back and forth. This is also a nice little gentle mobility for the hip joints. Let's do one more time each direction. All right, from here, if you had your hands on your pelvis, you can just relax your arms by your side. Rock your head side to side a few times. Let your neck have a little bit of relaxation and release. And then bring that back to the center. Okay, so from here, you're gonna gently press your arms down into the mat and see if that helps you widen your collarbone a little bit. So we're not gripping in the front of the shoulders, right? You're gently pressing the backs of the arms down, keep the ribs down on the floor, and you're gonna bring your right leg up to a tabletop position. So that 90 degree in your hip joint, 90 degree in your knee joint. Okay, so starting from there, we're gonna take an inhale as you stretch that leg out nice and long, exhale to bend it back in. Inhale to stretch, exhale to bend it back in. So as you inhale and reach the leg out long, you're still trying to keep those ribs gently connected in the front of the body. So you might feel like you need to inhale through the backs and sides of the rib cage in order to keep that little connection of the ribs and the abdominals in the front part of the challenge here. Go for two more. Inhale to straighten the leg, exhale to pull it back in. Inhale to straighten and exhale to bring it all the way back in and give it a little squeeze. Pull it in towards your chest. Let your low back round toward the mat a little bit. That'll give that low back a little stretch. And then you can place that right foot down and bring your left leg up to tabletop. So once you get your leg up to tabletop, just notice where your weight is through the back side of the body. Try to keep it nice and even left to right. Press your arms and your shoulders gently into the mat. And on your next inhale, straighten that left leg. Exhale to pull it back in. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend. Inhale to straighten. 
So again, same thing. We're trying to keep the back of the rib cage gently down on the mat, the connection of the rib cage in the front of the body so that you're nice and stable through your center, finding some breath through the backs and sides of the rib cage. Inhale and exhale two more. Last one. And then you're gonna pull that left knee in, give it a little gentle squeeze, let your low back round down toward the mat, and then place that left foot back down. Okay, we're gonna go back to that right leg being a tabletop. Okay, we're gonna add some hamstring stretch to this. So you're gonna inhale, stretch your leg up toward the ceiling, get it as straight as you comfortably can. It's okay if it's still bent. On your exhale, you're gonna flex your foot and lower the leg down. Inhale to point the foot and lift back up. Exhale to flex and lower. Inhale to point lift. Exhale to flex lower. So we're doing a little bit of movement through the ankle joint and some movement through that hip joint. Again, trying to stabilize the torso. So those abs are working a little harder probably now with that nice long leg moving. Last two. Last one. Good, now you're gonna hold that leg up. You're gonna reach up and grab the back of the thigh or the knee, pull that leg towards you a little bit more if you can get a little bit more hamstring stretch out of it. Flex and point your foot a few times. So we're just adding in a little calf stretch and a little nerve glide to that movement. Good, good, you guys. And then you're gonna bend that knee, place that foot back down and bring your left leg back up to tabletop. Okay, so keeping the weight even through your body left to right. You're going to reach up on your inhale and on your exhale, flex the foot and lower the leg down. Inhale, point, lift. Exhale, flex, lower. And you're just going up as high as you can comfortably and as low as you feel like you can control without letting your back chin shape, without letting your pelvis shift. Inhale, up. Exhale, flex, lower. Point, lift. Flex, lower. Inhale, point, lift. Exhale, flex lower, checking with your neck and shoulders. Try to relax any tension you might have up there. One more time. And then you're gonna lift that leg up, reach up and hold the back of your leg or your back of your knee or your thigh. Pull that leg towards you a little bit more if you feel like you can. And then flex and point that foot. Breath be steady. Good, nice you guys. And then bend that knee and place that foot back down. All right, take those feet nice and wide, wider than your hips. You can take your arms a little bit farther away from your torso and then rock those legs side to side. So we're doing a nice big windshield wiper with those legs. Laying one hip lift, reaching through that knee. We'll go one more time each direction. And then bring that back into the center. Walk those feet back all the way together. Bring your feet and your knees so that they're touching. Keep your arms out kind of wide away from your body. You don't have to be out to a T. You can be kind of like to a low V. You're going to keep the legs glued together as you swish the legs side to side. And notice that one hip is lifting on me and one foot is lifting because I'm keeping my legs glued together. And so as I twist my lower body, Right, I'm letting my pelvis rotate and those legs are coming with. So this one feels a little bit less like a stretch to me and a little bit more like oblique work, abdominal work. Okay, so let's go for one more time each direction. One more time to the right. And one more time to the left. And back to the center, good. All right, so we're gonna walk those feet out and we're gonna take the head prop out from underneath our head Fold it up and put it between your knees. Okay, so you're just gonna have that little prop between your thighs or your knees, wherever it's comfortable to squeeze. And you're gonna try to line your legs up. So just peek at your knees. And if one foot's way far out in front of the other, you're gonna know it because those knees are gonna look really uneven. So if you can kind of peek at your knees, just hold your head with your hand and get the knees of the way they look like they're even, your feet will probably be in the perfect spot, okay? So you're gonna bring your head down to the mat. We're gonna be lifting the hips up for some bridging. Okay, so we want the head to be low to start here. Press your arms into the mat. We're gonna go flat back, keeping your back nice and flat. You're gonna squeeze your glutes and lift the hips up, resting on the shoulder blades at the top. On your inhale, you're gonna release back down to the mat. Exhale to squeeze, lift. 
Inhale to lower. Exhale to squeeze the glutes and lift. So we're trying to keep that back nice and long. Just lifting up and down, moving from the hip joints. Now, if something feels uncomfortable through your thighs or your knees, you can always play around with where your feet are. Maybe your feet need to be a little bit closer to your bum. You can try that, see if that feels a little bit better. Maybe they need to be a little farther away from your bum. You can always make those little adjustments as you're moving so that you can see if you can feel some good muscle activation through the glutes and the thighs as you lift and lower those hips up. Go for one more. We're gonna hold up at the top of this last one, okay? So push your feet nice and evenly down into the mat. Go for a little pulses on that towel or blanket or pillow that you've got between your knees. So you're just doing little squeezes on that pillow or blanket or towel. Little pulses, right? I'm feeling my inner thighs and my glutes really starting to get warmed up here. Keep those ribs together. Take one more full inhale and exhale with those pulses. And then pause here, take a nice full breath. Soften your chest and roll the spine down. Good work. You can take that prop in, out from between your knees, put it back underneath your head if that's where you like it to be for your neck support. Stretch those legs out nice and long and just turn them in and out a few times. And hopefully that warmed up your thighs and your hips. All right. So from here, we're going to go back up with some leg movement. Okay. So with your head comfortably supported, now we're going to bring both of those legs up to tabletop. With both legs up, that's certainly much more work for your core muscles to help stabilize your low back, okay? So you're just going to move those legs as small as they need to be moved from here. And then you hold on to the backs of your thighs, okay? So both hands are just gently on the backs of the thighs. We're going to reach those legs up, okay? And notice that I can't quite get both of my legs all the way straight. That's okay. You're going to gently start to scissor one leg away from you. Pull on the back of that right thigh, pull it towards you, and then exhale, switch. So we're scissoring those legs. Your scissors might be small, right? They might be really small, and you're just really focusing on your breath and the stability through the center of your body. Maybe they're starting to feel better, and so you're going to make them a little bigger. The bigger you scissor the free leg away from you, the harder it is for your abs to stabilize here. So go for what range of motion feels strong and comfortable this morning. we got one more set. All right, nicely done. Pull both of those knees in. Give them a little squeeze and rock side to side. Good work. Okay, take the hands right onto the kneecaps, fingertips pointing towards your toes. You're going to push your legs away, circle them out, and back in. Good. Yeah, nice, you guys. So we're just doing some nice big knee stirs. Your hip joints just do some good work for you. So we're just giving them a little bit of release. And then reverse. Two more this direction. Good. Now you're gonna keep that right knee pulled in. You're gonna stretch the left leg all the way out to the mat. Try to get it nice and straight and then let it just relax down the mat. And as you pull that right knee in, you can pull on top of the knee joint or underneath the knee joint, whatever feels comfortable for your body here. I'm just gonna do some foot circles with that right foot. Just make those circles as big as you can. Let your breath slow down a little bit and then reverse those circles. Work through all those snap crackles and pops in your foot, right? And you're gonna keep that right knee pulled in as you slowly start to bring that left leg into your chest. And then once you get it all the way pulled in, you're gonna stretch that right leg out to the mat. Good, and then you're gonna pull that left leg in as much as you comfortably can and hold it there for some foot circles. If you're having any discomfort in the front of your hip joint and the leg that you're pulling in, just try taking that knee out a little bit wider towards your armpit and see if that helps any. Reverse those circles if you haven't already. All right, you're gonna re-bend your right leg, place your foot down on the mat, place your left foot down on the mat. Okay, from here we're gonna roll onto the side and do some good side blank work, right? So you're gonna just roll right onto your side. I'm gonna use your head prop to give you a little bit of support 
so that you can comfortably be down on your side here. We're gonna work the hips first, okay? So you can either do what I'm doing, which is just using your hand to give you a little bit more lift so that your head is comfortable here and your shoulders are comfortable, or you can certainly fold up your pillow or your towel and give yourself a little more support there, okay? So just make sure that you feel comfortable sidelining here. All right, so we want the shoulders stacked, the hips stacked, the feet and legs stacked, and the feet back in line with your bum. Okay, so your knees are bent in. So you're gonna think about giving that waistline a little lift away from the floor, just a little bit, right? You're not trying to arch away from the floor, but you're also just not allowing your body to relax down totally. So you've got a little bit of a lift away from the mat, from that waistline. Connect the ribs in the front. We're going to lift both of your feet four or six inches off the mat. Keep them glued together as you open that top knee for a clamshell and then bring it back down. Good. So we're trying to keep those ribs gently connected, trying to keep that pelvis really stable. So that hip bone in the front, you don't want it rocking forward and back. Yeah, you want it staying really still so that we're really just moving the leg. Very nice, you guys. And exhale as you open the leg up to the ceiling, inhale to close, exhale to open, inhale to close. Very nice, we're really trying to isolate the outside of the thigh and the hip. One more here. Good, you guys, lower those feet down. Lift your top leg up, okay? You're gonna inhale, tap your knee to your knee, exhale, tap your heel to your heel. Inhale, knee to knee, Exhale, heel to heel. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, heel to heel. Again, trying to keep that little lift of your waist, a little connection of the rib cage in the front of the body. Trying to keep the pelvis nice and stable. So no rocking of the body front to back here, which is hard on these. The leg starts getting really heavy, really fast. We got two more of these, they take forever. Good, you're doing great, you guys, last time. Good, rest that leg down, nicely done. Okay, stretch your top leg out, flex your foot, reach through your heel, keep that little lift, right? You're gonna kick the leg forward and then point the foot, pull the thigh behind you. Inhale, flex, kick, exhale, point, pull. So now we're trying really hard to keep that top leg really straight. So really reaching the leg out away from you, keeping it really long, flex, kick, and point, pull. Inhale, flex, kick. Exhale, point, pull. So we've got some stretch through the back of the leg, and then the back of the leg and the glute re-engages to pull back. Two more. Good, you guys, last one. Okay, last thing here, you're gonna keep that leg reaching out super long. I'm gonna lift it up and down. And you can point your foot, like I've got mine pointed right now, and keep your foot pointed if that feels good. If you're having any crampage in your foot, right? You can flex the foot and reach through the heel. Okay, both positions are great. Do the one that's feeling good for you this morning. Inhale up, exhale down, last two. Last one. And then you can relax that leg down, maybe even let it rest on the mat in front of you. And give your hip a little pound, a little pat. Okay, nice work. Right, for sure, you guys have earned some good rotation and stretch after that. So you can keep your knees bent in, just however comfortable it is, but right? you can pull them up as deep as you want to. You can get your head prop a little bit lower, okay? So you don't need quite as much for this one. Make sure there's plenty of prop behind you. So we're gonna do a nice big book opener. You're gonna reach forward and twist, and you want your head to be able to roll comfortably onto that little head prop as you twist, and then pull the arm back over. So reaching forward, up to the ceiling, and over to the opposite direction. Now, for any reason this doesn't feel good, you can always keep your elbow bent with your hand at your forehead, and just do a little bent elbow version of that, which also feels really nice and sometimes is a little easier on the shoulder if your shoulder is talking to you a little bit in this position. Okay, go for one more, whichever version you're doing, straight or bent arm. Take a big inhale as you hold that stretch and exhale to pull all the way back over. Nice work. Okay, you're gonna push yourself up and we will come onto the other side, okay? So you're just gonna take 
your little head prop with you. Okay, you're gonna come onto your side and we're gonna start with that hip work. So you can keep your prop either folded up a little bit taller so you have a little bit more support or you can use your bottom hand underneath your head. And if you're like me and your two sides feel like they need something a little different, that's okay too. So on this side, my shoulder is gonna feel happier if I give my head a little bit higher lift, okay? So I fold it up my, top my pillow. All right, so we've got our shoulders stacked, our hips stacked, our legs and our feet stacked, and feet back in line with your bum, okay? You wanna get that little lift of your waist, connection of your rib cage, and then you're gonna lift those feet four or six inches off the mat and hold them there as you clamshell that top knee up and down. And notice that I'm keeping the whole inseam of my foot my two feet glued together, right? So try to keep the whole inseam of both feet glued together as you're opening and closing that thigh. Nice. That'll really help you focus the movement in the hip joint, moving the thigh bone, rotating it and opening it. Keep your breath nice and steady, checking with your neck and shoulders. Try to relax any tension you might have up there. Last two. Good, you guys, last one. All right, lower those legs down. Keep your little gentle lift of your waist in connection of your ribs. Lift your top leg up. Keeping it bent, you're gonna tap your knee to your knee and then tap your heel to your heel. Knee to knee and heel to heel. And it's okay if this side feels different than the, than the first side did. Maybe the first side felt easier. Maybe this side feels easier. It's okay if the two sides feel different. We are frequently not exactly the same side to side, and it's not necessary. It's part of what makes this interesting, right? This is my harder side. So this side feels much more challenging to do this work and keep the good form. Good, keep that breath steady. Inhale, tap, exhale, heel to heel. Inhale, tap, exhale, heel to heel. Last one, tap, and heel to heel. And rest that leg down. Good work. Okay, stretch the leg out. Flex the foot, really reach through that heel. So we're keeping that leg reaching out nice and long, little connection lift, flex the foot, kick it forward, point the foot, pull the thigh back. So really straight, strong leg here. Kicking forward to stretch the back of the hip and thigh and pulling back to engage all of that. Inhale, kick forward, exhale, point, pull. Flex forward and point pull. Again, check in with that upper body. Is there anything through your jaw, your neck, your shoulders where you can release any tension? Focus on the core muscles and that nice movement of that top leg. Last one. You're going to hold that thigh back there as you lift and lower. And as you're reaching that leg out super long, keeping that leg parallel, toes and knees pointing forward. Can't lift super high, right? That joint's just not meant to do a ton of movement in this position. You should hopefully be feeling some really good work through that hip now. Remember, you can always flex your foot. That's feeling better for you this morning. You just want that leg to be nice and straight. You got two more. Good, last one. Woo, and relax that leg down. Feel free to maybe even let it rest on the mat in front of you and give it a little pound, okay? Nice job. All right, so we're gonna come up to all fours from here. Oh, I forgot, we need to rotate first. Don't come up to all fours yet. We definitely wanna get that rotation first, okay? So little overhead prop, reach those arms out. We'll do those nice big book openers. I almost forgot this lovely stretch. Somebody would have told me about it after class, I'm sure. Inhale as you reach forward. Exhale as you twist and just go as far as it feels comfortable, letting your rib cage rotate, letting your head roll with the movement, making sure that you've got some good prop underneath your head as you roll onto the back of the head so that your neck can really relax and rotate with the movement. However, you can always do the bent arm set. So we do two more with your arm bent or straight, whatever is feeling comfortable for your shoulders and your upper body this morning. Good. Okay, I'm glad we didn't skip that. 
All right, once you finish that last one, you're going to push yourself up and just kind of slide your prop off to the side and we'll make our way up to all fours now. All right, so you're going to come to all fours and you can certainly use your prop um, underneath your knees if you need a little extra padding for your knees this morning. You want your hands to be right underneath your shoulders. Spread your fingers out wide to so get a nice wide base of support and then push the mat away a little bit, right? We don't want to be sagging toward the floor. You already want to feel actively lifted up away from the floor in this position. I'm going to lift your right foot, keeping your knee down. We'll do a little tail whack from here. So you're going to inhale as you side bend to the right, peeking at your foot over your shoulder, and exhale to the left. Inhale to the right, and exhale to the left. So we're getting some good movement through the spine, stretching the sides of the body. And some nice movement through that hip joint as well. Inhale and exhale, nice and smooth, even breath here. Bring that back to the center, place that foot down, and we'll switch sides. Left foot up, inhale to the left this time, and exhale to the right. Inhale and exhale. This is a great way to move through your mid and upper back, which is what we were talking about before class, kind of that stiff mid and upper back area. This is a great way to get some movement there. And then bring it back to the center and place that foot down. So you're gonna come onto your elbows from here. So your elbows are gonna be right underneath your shoulders where your hands were. You can either place your palms down on the floor or you can make little fists and bring them down whatever feels comfortable. Just gonna keep those elbows right under your shoulders. And then pick your belly up, so right, no sagging, right? Pick your belly up so that your spine is nice and supported. And we're gonna let those shoulder blades slide together as your chest drops toward the floor a little bit and then press the floor away and separate those shoulder blades. So inhale as you let them slide together, exhale as you press them away. So this is a, an active place to be moving those shoulder blades. We're weight bearing in the arms here while we're moving those shoulder blades toward each other and away from each other. So this is a great way to mobilize a lot of good muscle tissue through that mid and upper back. Go for two more. Last one. Good, and you're gonna come back up to those hands. Hands right under your shoulders again. Arms nice and straight. Okay, we're gonna reach that right leg out behind us. And try to keep your body centered between your hands. Notice if your body shifted way over to one side. Center your body between your hands. Keep your hips nice and level. You're going to tap the toes down and then lift back up. Inhale to tap. Exhale to lift. So we're still pulling the belly up away from the floor. Shoulders away from the ears. Head and chest lifted away from the floor. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Three more. Last two. Last one, and then pull that knee back in and switch sides. Reach that left leg out. Okay, peek at your, where your body is centered between your hands. Try to keep your body centered. Hips nice and level. Inhale to tap the foot down. Exhale to lift back up. Good, you guys. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. So again, super straight leg, straight arms, chest and head lifted up away from the floor. Shoulders gently away from the ears. Last two. Last one. Good, bring that knee back in. Okay, with your knees wide, shift back into a stretch. You can either just round your spine gently and let your body kind of hover here for a breath or two, or you can come all the way down into a child's pose and let your hips rest and let your head rest. Make sure your head is resting on something. Maybe it's comfortable to reach to the floor. Maybe you want to Need to make a little stack with your hands so that your head can rest there. And take two or three slow, full breaths here, really letting the body relax with the breath. Okay, from here, we're going to come back up to all fours one more time. Okay, so you're going to come back up to all fours. You know, take your hands and your knees a little farther away. Okay, so we'll shift the body forward and back, allowing for a little extension and flexion as we go. Okay, so bring your knees a little bit closer so that they're about sit bone distance or hip distance apart. And same with your feet. You're going to shift back, keeping your arms nice and straight and active, just as far as it feels comfortable. 
And then on your inhale, you're going to shift forward, maybe even enough to push up and lift up away from the mat. So exhale to press it back. And inhale to come forward, belly pulls in, chest lifts up away from the floor. Exhale to press back. Just keep this movement as small or as big as it feels comfortable in each direction. Okay, so what feels good this morning? We're getting some really good movement through lots of joints here. Knees and hips, shoulders and wrists, spine. Very nice, push back into one more child's pose. Let your forehead rest. Take one more full breath here. Good, and then make your way onto your stomach, okay? So we'll come onto our stomach to do some more extension work. You can always take your towel or your pillow underneath your stomach and have it underneath your stomach if you need any support for your chest or for your low back in this position. Okay, so remember that's always an option. And you'll do everything just exactly the same, okay? As I'm showing you, you just have a little bit of support underneath that stomach. All right, so you're gonna reach those legs out nice and long. They can be turned out a little bit with your toes turned out gently if that feels good, or they could be parallel, whatever feels better for your feet and your hips. You're gonna bring your arms down into a cactus position and try to get your hands so that they're roughly the same level as your eyes. So when you look left and right, your hands are roughly at eye height. Okay, press your hands down, and on your inhale, start to lift the upper body only as high as you can keep those elbows down, and then exhale to lower back down to a little hover. So you're gonna inhale to lift the upper body, exhale to come back down to a little hover of your face, Inhale to lift like you're watching a marble roll across the floor in front of you and then back down underneath your nose, right? So you're lifting your head first, collarbone and chest and lower back down. Let's do one more just like that. Inhale to lift your head, collarbone, chest and exhale to lower all the way down. Now you can keep those um, extensions just like that, those little miniature swans or you can continue lifting up on this next one as high as you want. Your elbows might lift, your elbows might work toward bend straightening. Inhale to lift head, collarbone, chest, push the floor away, and then exhale to lower those elbows right back down, and then back down to your hover. So you're just lifting up as high as it feels comfortable this morning. You wanna feel the entire back doing this movement, not just your low back, but your entire back. Go for one more. Your shoulders and arms are probably starting to feel like they're doing some good work here too. And they certainly are. And come all the way down. You can make a little pillow for your forehead or your cheek. You can bend your knees, sway those legs side to side. Just take a little easy movement here. Good, you guys. Okay, from here, you're gonna stretch those legs out long again. Keep them a little bit closer together, okay? So they don't have to be touching, but just bring them a little bit closer together. And then you wanna to try to get them nice and parallel. So tops of the feet flat, knees down, okay? So go as parallel as you comfortably can. You're gonna keep your forehead nice and heavy. So just let your forehead rest, either on the backs of your hands or even on stacked fists. Whatever gives you the support that you need for your neck so that you can relax your head here. On your next exhale, you're gonna Reach that right leg off the mat, keeping it super straight. It's not going to be a big movement. Inhale to lower it down and exhale to switch, lifting the left leg. So we're going to go back and forth, lifting one leg and then lowering it and lifting the opposite leg. Nice and slow, exhaling to lift. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Really keep that leg straight. Reach it out as long as you possibly can. We're trying to really focus on a straight leg lift, lifting through the thigh bone, keeping the weight nice and even through your torso left or right. So notice where you feel the weight on your hip bones. Can you keep the weight even as you're lifting one leg and then the other? A little lift of the belly button to help support the back here. Let's go for one more time each direction. 
Good, lower that leg down. If your toes were trying to cramp, you can tuck the toes, give them a little stretch here, or even bend the knees and sway the legs. Okay, good. All right, last thing here. You stretch those legs out. You're certainly welcome to take them a little bit wider and turn them out. Okay, if you were having any foot cramping, turned out might feel better here. You know, take the arms long by the side, palms down on the floor. Okay, pretty close to the torso. Keep your pubic bone nice and heavy. Think about lifting your belly button up just gently, just a little bit, okay, so that you're not just relaxed through your abs. You're gonna hover those arms off the mat, lift your head and your chest up on your inhale, reach your fingertips towards your feet, and then exhale to lower back down to a little hover. Inhale to lift up, exhale to lower down. This is a pretty small movement, and it's pretty challenging. So you're probably feeling lots of things working here. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Don't lift so high that you just feel low back, right? We want to feel the upper back, the shoulders. Go for two more. Inhaling to lift, exhaling to lower. Reach for your toes one more time. Inhale to lift, and then exhale to lower all the way down. You can rest your cheek to one side, lift your shoulders round down toward the floor. Bend your knees, sway those legs. Good job, you guys. Nicely done. Okay, so you're gonna take your hands under your shoulders. Carefully push yourself up. Gonna come back to all fours one more time and we're just gonna give our backs some nice, bigger range of motion movement. Okay, we just did a lot of back extensor work. So let's do a little flexion too. Okay, so take an inhale right where you are and we'll do some cat cow. On your exhale, scoop up your belly round the spine up towards the ceiling. And really let those back muscles stretch here. On your inhale, just gently lift and open the chest. Exhale to scoop up the belly, rounding the back up toward the ceiling, letting the head fall. And inhale to gently extend tail to head. So on this set of cat cow, we're really focusing on the scoop here, rounding, stretching those muscles we just worked. And inhaling back to a little extension. Two more, exhale, scoop, round that back, stretch those back muscles. Inhale, just a little extension. One more time, flex around, around, around. And then bring it back to neutral. Okay, so stay on your knees, but come off of your hands. Give your hands a little shake if they need a little shake out. All right, so let's do a little side bend from kneeling. Okay, so you're gonna stay on your knees, but keep your knees out a little bit wider so that you've got a little bit wider base of support. Okay, you don't want to be too wide, that'll feel a little awkward. So you kind of find your perfect spot, which is usually around hip distance. Okay, you can adjust as we go. So you're gonna take a big inhale as you reach the, the left arm up and side bend over to the right. You can gently press your right hand down into your thigh for a little support. And then on your exhale, use that left side of the waist to pull you back up. Inhale to reach up and over to the left. And exhale, use that right side of the waist to pull you back up. So inhaling to reach into your side then. Exhaling to stack it back up. Good, you guys. Inhale to reach into that side then. Exhale to stack it back up. One more time, each direction. Inhale, reach. Exhale it back up and inhale, reach. Good. Exhale it back up. Okay, from here, you're going to take your arms out in front, take a big inhale as you open them wide, and then exhale to bring them back either to the center or all the way together, maybe. Inhale to open, exhale to bring it back in, inhale to open. Good. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, open. And exhale, and then relax those arms down. Do a little kneeling twist. Just let the upper body rotate a little bit. A lot of times we do this from standing, but it feels good to do even just to do it here, right? Just a little rotation. And then shake it all out. And you guys are all done. Good work today.